Welcome to Tesla Car World. Today we will come to the latest news from Tesla, including the Model 3 Plaid being developed with a capacity of up to 700 horsepower, the benefits that Model 3 Highland brings to owners, and the battery technology distributed by Tesla across their product lines promise a bright future of affordable electric vehicles. What impact will these new updates bring to the EV market? Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. Model 3 Plaid has become a topic that attracts fans recently. Because the deletion of the Model 3 Highland Performance variant during this time has raised doubts about Tesla's preparation for what is to come on the Model 3 Plaid. How will Tesla develop the Model 3 Plaid? Model 3 is currently the cheapest electric vehicle sold in Tesla's product line, with the cheapest price to own being about $38,990. When eligible for federal tax credits and fuel savings, the cost is only about $28,000 USD for the U.S. market. Located in the luxury segment of Tesla products, Model S Plaid has a price of up to 89,990 USD with three high-performance motors and gives incredible performance. You can get up to 396 miles of range and go from zero to 60 miles in just 1.99 seconds. A single product is topping Tesla's highest performing and most expensive list right now. A trio of high-performance engines helps it achieve a power output of 1,020 horsepower. However, the introduction of the Model 3 is related to the Model S, as it seems to have received a lot of features and designs on this Model C. Meanwhile, flagship car sales are fading in the market as most people begin to pay attention to affordable cars that are not inferior in design and performance. Therefore, Tesla suddenly introduced a parts catalog of the Model 3 car that includes hints of a plaid powertrain, braking system, and badges that look like it confirms that it is a variant of Model 3 plaid. Model 3 plaid will be a popular configuration and is an extremely fast car when combined with the innovative dual rear motors that help increase the Model 3's overall performance by 10%. The Plaid powertrain was first installed in the Model S and Model X, Tesla's luxury flagships, in 2021 as the automaker launched its fastest cars to date. Those are also Tesla's premium products and account for less than 5% of the company's production and delivery figures in any given quarter. The Model 3 performance in the US now has a range of 315 miles and the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles in 3.1 seconds. Besides, the overall design and performance of the current Model 3 still show that this is a great car at a cheap price. This suggests that Tesla may be planning to upgrade the Model 3 performance to meet Plaid standards, especially the dual rear motor improved to deliver about 600 to 700 horsepower, double that of the previous generation. However, it is for the Model 3 Highland model currently available in European and Asian markets. In the updated catalog, we can clearly see the plaid badge right at the back. This is the symbol that appeared on the Model S and X plaid. However, Elon Musk previously denied that Tesla would create Model 3 plaid because that symbol was only reserved for the X and S. So what does the performance badge appearing on the manual refer to? Another case we can remember is the ludicrous badge, which could also be a name to differentiate between the luxury and mid-range segments because the plaid variant seems to be reserved only for a tri-motor. In any case, it signals a coming improvement on the Model 3 Performance Highland, some suspension improvements that should make it easier to put it into sport mode with low ground clearance and ability. Acceleration is almost equivalent to Model S and X Plaid. Tesla will also offer a 19-inch wheel option that gives the Model 3 a better range similar to the Model S Plaid with sport brake calipers for improved braking. Another thing we need to consider is the overall weight between the Model S Plaid and the Performance Model 3. While the Model S Plaid with its larger battery pack and the weight of its dual rear motors weighs 4,776 pounds, the Performance Model 3, on the other hand, 
weighs only about 4,048 pounds with its dual motors. This will make the Model 3 Plaid capable of gliding faster than the Model S played with acceleration in about two seconds. This small improvement is also a logical event because Tesla product users always lament the large size and weight of the Model S and X. A smaller size like the Model 3 would be a great choice for someone. Love speed. In addition, a rather interesting update about a new Tesla feature was added to the manual following the findings about the Model 3 played. Tesla appears to be rolling out a new feature called Driver Drowsiness Alert, which uses a camera in the car's cabin to determine whether the driver is too sleepy to drive. Descriptions of this feature are starting to appear in owner's manuals for Tesla Model 3 owners in Europe. As part of active safety features, a driver drowsiness alert is designed to notify drivers who appear drowsy by monitoring the driver's facial features as well as driving behavior to identify patterns that indicate drowsiness. When a drowsy driver is detected, a warning is displayed on the touchscreen in the card area, and an alarm sounds. The manual states that the driver drowsiness warning system activates at speeds above 65 km h when driving for a minimum of 10 minutes and the autopilot is not engaged. It also said the warning will be clear once the sleep patterns have been eliminated. It's worth noting that Tesla used in-cabin cameras to monitor driver attention on autopilot. The new system is specifically intended for use by drivers without autopilot. You can turn this feature off or on, but only for the current driving cycle. Like several other safety features in Tesla's, Driver Drowsiness Alert automatically reactivates at the start of each driving cycle. Tesla isn't the first company to monitor driver attention. Before that, Mercedes-Benz had a system called Attention Assist and Volvo had a system called Driver Alert. Some, like BMW and GM, also use in-car cameras to check whether the driver is paying enough attention while driving. This application, added to Tesla's electric car models, has increased credibility for the almost absolute safety promised by the manufacturer. How does Model 3 Highland benefit owners? Since its debut in late August, the Tesla Model 3 2024 update, also known as Project Highland, has garnered significant new attention for the sedan that is changing the game for Tesla. It truly represents a comprehensive overhaul of Tesla's famous all-electric sedan model with a sharper metal design that enhances aerodynamics, an improved and quieter interior with double-paned insulated glass on the windows, windshield, and rear glass. What's more, the Model 3 Highlands operating range has been enhanced through tire improvements and a revamped suspension system with updated shock absorbers and bushings. While most Americans are eagerly awaiting, some Tesla owners in Europe and Asia have already been able to experience the Highland firsthand. The first benefit that the Model 3 Highland offers is ownership cost. For the version produced in Giga Shanghai, the highest price is only $40,000 for the long-range variant and around $35,500 for the standard variant. One of the factors contributing to the cost efficiency of this model in China is the availability of advanced battery technology, similar to what's happening in the United States, where Tesla can supply battery cells to nearby manufacturing plants. Therefore, the Model 3 Highland produced in the U.S. can offer a corresponding price to that in China. Additionally, several significant design improvements have helped the manufacturer reduce costs and enhance the vehicle's aerodynamics, such as removing the front air dam, resulting in a streamlined assembly process. The overall chassis provides a better sense of balance in corners, and the steering system is said to be more precise and responsive compared to many other electric cars where the steering feels stiffer. The lithium-ion 2170 battery technology, combined with a smaller and lighter design, has increased the Model 3 Highland's operating range. Next, the Model 3 Highland offers performance advantages that suit customers more interested in their daily commute than rapid acceleration, unlike its earlier versions. With the ability to deliver fast and consistent power, the standard Tesla Model 3 2024 will face no trouble surpassing the Polestar 2 front-wheel drive system 
it takes 6.8 seconds to reach 60 mph and 15.3 seconds to cover a quarter mile in previous tests. However, it does have a drawback in terms of weight, coming in at 4,658 pounds. Adding another motor to the Model 3 Long Range transforms it from a quiet sedan into a nimbler, all-wheel drive vehicle, producing 394 horsepower and achieving 060 amp fin, just 4.0 seconds and covering a quarter mile in 12.3 seconds with a simple tap on the accelerator, making it launch like a rocket with no tire screech left behind. One could say that the Tesla Model 3 is currently the fastest among its competitors and the release of the Model 3 played or Model 3 ludicrous will set it apart from other heavyweight rivals. This will be a significant leap forward. While Tesla's promises about delivery timelines have often been met, the official release of the Model 3 Highland in the European and Asian markets is set for the final days of October 2023. China and Europe are among the first markets to receive the Tesla Model 3 2024, partly due to Europe importing the Model 3 from China. However, in the case of the U.S., news about the production of this model in California has remained a mystery until now. During the Q3 2023 earnings call, Tesla's Senior Director of Investor Relations, Martin Visha, appeared hesitant when directly asked about the Model 3 Highlands timeline in the U.S. Expectations at this point are somewhat challenging, as Tesla has officially announced the Cybertruck delivery date and the production process in the U.S. Later this year will be primarily focused on the electric pickup truck, including battery supply, production line adjustments, and labor force, almost all, dedicated to the Cybertruck. Tesla's Fremont factory is believed to have been shut down for upgrades earlier this year, typically indicating the preparation for introducing a new model to the assembly line. Furthermore, at least two upgraded Model 3S have been spotted by keen observers in the U.S. after its release in Europe in late August, suggesting that the car's U.S. launch is imminent, although the exact timing remains uncertain. Furthermore, we need to address some issues directly related to the future performance enhancements of all Tesla models, which hinge on battery technology. What battery technology is distributed across each Tesla product? A recent study has unveiled Tesla's battery production and allocation plans, indicating where the battery cells will be manufactured. There are some similarities in the battery technology used in the Model 3 lineup. The current standard Model 3 employs SIA TL's LFP battery technology, which is produced in China. On the other hand, the long-range and high-performance variants currently utilize 2,170 battery cells from LG and Panasonic, originating from South Korea and Japan, respectively. The use of in-house battery cell production at the assembly plant has significantly reduced the production costs for the Model 3 by saving both time and transportation expenses. While most 4,680 battery cells are being produced in-house by Tesla and will be used in the Cybertruck for upcoming deliveries, with 4,680 cell production steadily increasing in Texas, all the battery cells for various packs and vehicles will be manufactured in the same factory, making this one of Tesla's most efficient production methods. Tesla is currently heavily focused on quality with its 4,680 production line. Tesla is increasing production while simultaneously improving the 4,680 assembly line and reducing mobile costs on a monthly basis in Co3. 4,680 battery cell production in Texas has increased by 40% compared to the previous quarter. Tesla announced the construction of its 20 millionth 4,680 cell at Giga Texas in early October. In mid-June, they also announced reaching 10 million cells. The difference between building the 20 millionth and 10 millionth 4,680 cell highlights the rapid development pace of Tesla's 4,680 battery cell production line. In April, Tesla also added the 4,680 battery cell to the standard model Y dual motor a double UD, but it has since been removed from the plan. Most model Y vehicles still use the old battery pack with not many changes. Since the model Y continues to sell well in the market, 
Maintaining the overall design of the vehicle until now remains a wise strategy for Tesla. The battery cells are primarily manufactured in Giga Nevada for Model Y vehicles in the U.S. market and Giga Shanghai for the Chinese market. Meanwhile, at Giga Berlin, the standard Model Y is the only vehicle produced with BYD's Blade LFP battery cells. Diversifying battery options is to meet demand and will become particularly interesting in 2024 with the new U.S. credit rules. If the Model Y meets the full requirements, it can receive the full $7,500 credit, whereas if it only meets 1-2 of the requirements, it will receive 1-2 of the credit. However, if they release a performance model, it seems like it will be eligible for the full amount. The Model 3 Plaid's appearance on Tesla's manual seems to be a note for its later appearance on the market. What we care about is whether it will be made in the U.S. Will Tesla's new car models be produced in the U.S. in the future? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking that bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.